go live button. Okay. So it ain't went live yet. I'm also got it in our, in our, I'm trying to pull it up on my phone too. It's setting up to go live in Facebook. So I'm going to Facebook just so I can have it there too. Okay, we are live in Facebook. Hold on. Hello, hello, hello. It is, hold on. Testing, one, two, three, testing, testing, one, two, three, testing. Can't hear me? Yes. You can hear me? Uh-huh, I can. But, but my video is not present. No. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay. I don't know why that is. Okay. All right. No problem. We're going to roll with it. So welcome to this evening, this weekly live Q&A here at the Parallel Parallelpreneur Powerhouse community. Tonight, we have the amazing Amanda Floyd, one of our Parallelpreneur Powerhouses here this evening with us. And we're going to be talking to her about her business and how she got started and what made her decide this journey was for her. And join us, make sure you say hello to me in the comments. While we're, you don't see me on video, but I am here in spirit. <laughs> so I'm sending all the love. I don't know why my video is not showing, but however, we will not let this stop us this evening. We're gonna keep moving forward. So what I'm gonna do is as you join us, please say hello to us in the comments. I'm gonna go over our announcements and then we'll hear from Miss Amanda. So say hello in the comments. And while that's happening, I'm gonna also see if I can join. Hold on. Mm. Man, can you hear? You can hear me, okay? okay. Am, Am I on the video? I'm, I'm still not on, on video. video. I, I joined on, on my phone, phone as well. Okay. I can see you now. But, but it's, it's not, not, it's not, not showing. To, oh, oh, okay, oh, here we, we go. go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's two of me. me. Can y'all yeah, handle yeah. it? <laughs> it's two of me. Okay. Okay. No, no worries. worries. Okay. You can still hear me okay though? Yes. Oh, give me a second. I'm I'm ooh, y'all seeing all my mess on my desk. Hold on now. <laughs> all right. So this week's announcements is don't forget we have weekly live QA. Hey Jackie Davis, how you doing, hon? We have our weekly live QA. And so just make sure you set that up on your calendar so that you are set it up on your calendar so that you can um, not forget it. Also, we also have a contest going on this quarter. So make sure you, you like, you comment on the post and then you'll be entered in our quarterly drawing for that as well. And don't forget next Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're having our community networking event. So make sure you register for that. Now, Miss Amanda, are you ready? I am. I am. Okay. So tell us a little bit about your business. So Mahogany Wear is a lifestyle brand and apparel line that I started back in 2014. And simply, it's just a brand that allows people to wear their expression, wear their feelings, wear their love for their natural hair and Black culture. Um, oftentimes, I know if you're anything like me, um, you're a very expressive individual. And so the love for my natural hair, I want to be able to share it with people because it's been a long journey for me. It's been 13 years. And okay. so I I absolutely love my hair. Um, I love the journey it has taken me on. And so I like to wear things that is expressive of my hair, hence the earrings I have on. And yes. hence the, I try to wear my brand every day. So I wanted to be able to provide people with the opportunity to be able to wear their love on their shirt, their earrings, anything that we can actually stamp our approval on <laughs> that you can actually wear every day. Um, we just wanted to provide that to our community. 
Okay. And so how long have you been doing this? Since 2014. Uh, we started back in 2014 and we've been growing pretty steadily over the years. And so it's just been an awesome ride since then. So are you do now, how do you wear your hair naturally? Are you, you have dreads or you just- I am locked. I know you probably really? can't tell right now with a lot of new girl. <laughs> oh, you are locked. How long yeah. is it? I have, I have a lot. So yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. It's amazing. Lot. Wow. <laughs> I have a lot. So it has been a, a long, um, 13 years for me. Okay. And, um, to be honest, I could not I don't even know what I was thinking about before I even went natural. I would never go back. Never, ever. I mean, my hair is healthier. I never had a problem with it being thick, but it's just healthier. I just, I love being natural. <laughs> to just put it in so many words and it's just so many benefits to it as well awesome 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 so tell us about the earrings that you have on tonight so these earrings are jade um these are our lock earrings and they are one of the very popular items that we have right now and really just wanted to add some symbolism for locks a lot of times when you think about natural hair or people that have um, things expressive of natural hair. You'll see the afro and you'll see other things, but a lot of times the locks are left out. <laughs> so I wanted to be able to give our sisters with locks something that they can actually wear in the form of accessories. So she's a very popular item um, in our store right now. Yes, yes, yes. Pam Pamela Young said they're beautiful. She wished Thank she could you. rock it. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, everybody, I, th I think everybody should try going natural at least once mm -hmm. just to see you know if you like it I mean locks may not be for everyone but you know I guarantee you, if you give it a little time whether you start with locks or just start just being natural in general just give it a little time and I guarantee you, you'll start seeing the benefits of it gotcha so tell me about some other of your products that you have to offer so I see that you have the earrings do you do t-shirts or what other kind of product line do you have well, yes, we have t-shirts. Um, being that it was wintertime, we actually offer sweatshirts and hoodies. Okay. And um, very soon, I am actually working on a home goods line. So hopefully that'll be launching within the next couple of months. And so hoping to have some aprons, some cutting boards, candles, and just an array of different things that you can actually have to put in your home with a cultural twist, should I say. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh man, that is so awesome. Okay, so as I said earlier, we have a contest that was going on about notifications and we had two people to enter that contest. And Amanda, if you don't mind, will you help me out this evening? Um, sure. I'm going to tell you the names. You can shake them up in a uh, jar okay. or a hat or whatever you got close to you. Okay. And then we're going to uh, announce the winner. So the two people that entered in the notification contest was Sherry Oh, oh my goodness. And I can't remember her last name. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna say Sherry. We're gonna have her tag, tag Sherry. And then also the other person was Al Alana Brown. Okay. Sherry and Alana Brown. So please tag them in the comments. Um, they are part of this community. It, Sherry Lee, that's who it was. Sherry, Sherry Lee. Lee. Yep, Sherry Lee and Alana Brown. They entered the notification contest so basically I, I posted make sure that you put add the notifications and then comment with the gift below and then you enter the prop so Amanda you let me know once you get those in those pieces of paper into something and can you just show us like the name and then as you fold it up and put it in the piece of paper yes so putting it into the item that you're going to utilize to okay. pull it for us gotcha so then. I have Ms. Elena Brown here, you yes. can see. And then I have Ms. Sherry Lee, which I've already folded the paper, I'm sorry. It's okay, no worries. And if y'all have so questions, Sherry, feel free Sherry to put them Lee. in the comments. Okay, <laughs> all right, so okay. shake that bag up really, really good. Gotcha. And I actually have one of our hats that we'll be releasing soon as well. So I'm shaking up in here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and pull right. up the name and let me know who is our notification contest winner. Okay. All right. So I am reaching in here, not looking. Yes. 
All right, so we have Miss Sherry Lee. Woo! She is our winner. Yes, Miss Sherry Lee, make sure you check your DM. We will be reaching out to you to let you know how you can get your prize. So thank you so much for participating. I know some of you all have seen our quarterly contest where it says just all you need to do is like and post and comment and you're in and that's all you have to do. Just keep liking, keep posting, keep commenting. Please also invite other parallelpreneurs to this community and we will be pulling that contest winner over in the probably next 20 days or so. So just keep doing it. We're keeping up with the leaderboard. We'll start posting where people are in the leaderboard um, over the next couple of weeks. So you can kind of see where you are in that potential prize winning opportunity as well. Well, because this is live Q&A Wednesday, Miss Amanda, what question do you have for me that I can answer for you today? Okay, so as a parallelpreneur, we know oftentimes things can kind of become hectic and with our nine fives, working our business. And so sometimes you kind of just, feel stumped, you know, when you're growing your business and trying to make moves and trying to reach more people. And so my question tonight is, as a parallelpreneur, what steps would you take or would you recommend to kind of scale, to kind of grow your business, to reach a broader audience, to reach a bigger audience? What steps would you recommend that a parallelpreneur should take? Okay, so tell me, this is going to be a little bit of a back and forth. So to tell me what you're currently doing to reach the audience. So right now, um, email marketing, um, networking, uh, pop-up shops, um, paid ads. Um, and so those are my main focuses right now. Mm -hmm. But of course, you know, I don't want to stay there. I want to be able to reach a broad, as, as broad as possible. Mm -hmm. And although we do serve um, those with natural hair and our focus is towards natural hair and Black culture, I still want to be able to um reach a broader audience as well um as we add on to the line and add on to the brand so i just want to be able to come up with different creative ways to be able to broaden our audience okay so when you say broaden your audience because currently mm -hmm. the audience is people that are have natural hair whether they're locked or just no longer you have a relaxer mm -hmm. um black cultural when you say you want to reach a broader audience you mean an audience mm -hmm. outside of that and if so do you already have the product line that will reach that audience or speak to that audience? And now, so with the home goods, mm -hmm. that is kind of going to really be the avenue to kind of start reaching a broader audience because although it have a cultural twist, it may not so much focus in on natural hair. And so with that, that's going to be our gateway to kind of speak to a broader audience um, on that scale. Now, would that be a broader audience or more so you just expanding the product line to be more than just accessories and apparel? Well, but still speaking to the same individuals or the same community of individuals. I see it as um, expanding the brand, but also letting people know that with this home goods line, you don't necessarily have to have natural hair to purchase the product. So, you know, the, the, the home good may not be so much niched down to where only people with natural hair can purchase Okay, as far as home goods are concerned, if that makes yeah. sense. <laughs> yes. Now, will you, because I see it as two different audiences. Mm -hmm. And so when it's two different audiences, sometimes you have to really do things, two different things. So okay. maybe it's a separate um, maybe it's a separate social media account or a separate email list because okay. it's going to speak to a different audience. Okay. Because you don't want to confuse your audience because a confused buyer won't buy. Definitely. Okay. So okay. if they come, means... if you start intertwining it into your current, let's just say your current social media feeds, mm -hmm. they might be like, well, what's, you know, it, it will be confusing. I can understand that. And that makes absolutely, it makes a whole lot of sense. <laughs> So, uh, yes, <laughs> yes. So okay. you can broaden your audience, but just know that you're speaking to two different people, which okay. may require you or would require you basically to be building two different businesses. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Wasn't sure if we could, should really intertwine or should we kind of build something separate to kind of really start focusing on a different 
target audience or target group. So, but that does make sense. Yes, definitely build something different for the home goods line that is more so just a cultural twist and don't have has anything to do with how you wear your hair. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Does okay. that help? It does. It, it does. It, it brings a lot of clarity. Absolutely. That's what I'm here for. Get you clear, get you confident, get that cash. <laughs> I'm checking yeah, with the comments <laughs> to see if anybody else has any questions tonight. Um, in case not, we still have a few minutes. So if you have another question, I don't mind answering it for you this evening. Um, thank you, Miss Jack. Jackie says a confused bar won't buy. That's right. Leslie said, yes, they're different. They're two different avatars. Absolutely. Uh, Yes, yes, yes. So does anybody else have any questions? Please put them in the comments. Miss Amanda is going to continue to hang out with us this evening. Yep. And I want y'all to show her some love. Go to tell us where we can follow and support you beyond Parallelpreneur community because you have amazing items. And there are some other naturalistas, if you will, in this community <laughs> or no, have friends and uh -huh. they can be gifting or buying for themselves. So where else can we connect with you on social media? So you can find us on our Facebook page and Instagram page at Mahogany Wear Apparel. And you can also visit our website at www.mahoganywear.com. Okay, that's it. Y'all heard it. Post my business information. Okay, so Pamela has a question. So Pamela says, I think I asked this before. Should I post my business information on my personal page? Okay, I believe you should. Now, you should also have some personal stuff on your business page as well. But the reason why I, should, I say you should post that because if you were just working, if you get a promotion or what's going on in your work culture, your business is not separate. Um, your family, your friends, they should understand that you're also building a business. If you can look at their food plates and when they travel, they can look at what you have to sell. <laughs> I'm not saying do okay. a job. <laughs> But Amanda, put it in the chat where they can connect with you. Um, we okay. will have social media for me as well while I continue to answer Miss Pamela Young's question. Okay. So Pamela, <laughs> hashtag Nef Two Cents. I said, yes, you need to post on your personal page about your business. It doesn't have to be the majority of your postings, but you never know who is on your personal page that may need what you have to offer. So let them know it's available. Amanda, are you still here? I am. Okay, cool. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Okay. So Pamela, did that answer your question? And do you have another question? Now I'm on the now I'm on the thing twice. I don't know what's going on with Facebook. <laughs> but we're gonna keep going. Thank you. Keep commenting, keep putting your questions on. This is a note to everybody in here. Done is better than perfect. You see, we having tech issues. Now you see me twice. I might be frozen on one camera. I don't see Amanda no more through Facebook, but don't worry. We're gonna keep pushing through. We're gonna get you the answers that you need. Y'all gonna give my uh, Miss Amanda the support. She's been looking for some support to go live. So we were here to support her tonight and I appreciate y'all showing up and showing her some love. Make sure you follow her on her platforms. You check out her website, refer people with her to her as well. Okay, Pamela, you good? That's okay, good, good. Um, Did you see it in said, yeah, I can see you now again. Okay. Okay. So Tamisha says, cause she also put the personal page to check out the business page. Absolutely. So yes, uh, to Tamisha's point, Pamela, you can put on your personal page to check out your business page and just make sure you're rotating the content because if they're following you on your personal page and your business page, you don't want them to get notifications with the same post. So just make sure you're mixing it up. Any other questions? And Amanda, if you have another question, feel free to let me know and I will work okay. through that as well on okay. the live. Okay. Okay, I'm just checking the comments one last time. Okay, we're looking good on the comments so far. So, Miss Amanda, tell yeah. us about your live experience. I know we was you were, you were talking actually, about you had some hesitations about going live I and, did. Family, <laughs> and our good old extended family network fashion was showing you some love you can do this you got this we're here for you I want to tell you the support has been real in this community it has been real like from day one and so definitely feel more at ease and you definitely made it as 
really just now I kind of feel like I was overthinking the whole thing because <laughs> you really made it real simple. I mean, uh, the, the support has just been overwhelming and I'm grateful. Um, very seldom do you find um, a community full of women <laughs> and you know that stigma is there, you know, that and it's right. out there that we don't support each other, but we know that that's not true. So to be able to find a community where people genuinely are concerned and who have no idea who you are, never met you before, but still gen genuinely concerned about you, your well-being and your success, it's just awesome. And I'm just happy to be in this community. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad I can foster a place for that. Leslie said, yes, Amanda, great job. Thank you. <laughs> yes. I'm just saying. So yeah, y'all make sure y'all show us some love, like and follow her page, um, make some, some uh, what I call connection chats offline with her, you know, so y'all can have a one-on-one -on -one and learn a little bit more about each other and each other's business. Leslie just had a, a seminar last night about collaborations oh and how, how ways to foster those collaborations and things that you can do to help um, navigate those collaborations to make sure that they are a positive experience and not a negative experience. Um, I don't know when her next event is. So Leslie, uh, make sure you post it in this live when your next event is as well. Um, let's see what else. Anybody else? Going once, going twice. Okay. All right. We are getting ready to fair, uh, send off. Say good night. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody else is like a little hesitant about going live and you would like to do an interview style like Amanda did just to kind of get your feet wet a little bit oh okay Pamela Young just popped in with another question do any of you ever go on Clubhouse so full transparency Miss Pamela I am an Android user no I'm not against <laughs> iPhone users by any means <laughs> however that's just what I have that's what I'm used to and that's what I'm comfortable with um, so I currently personally do not use Clubhouse. So if any of you who are iPhone users have been using Clubhouse, please share your experience either in this live, um, in this live, your experience with Clubhouse. But me personally, I have, I, I can't go on Clubhouse. <laughs> okay, Leslie says she's on Clubhouse. So Leslie, what's your experience on Clubhouse? She's probably typing. The only, I don't know nothing about Clubhouse, but Ms. Pamela, I would say don't spread yourself too thin, especially with your parallelpreneur. Time is one of our biggest things, the biggest struggle, having enough time to do all the things. So just make sure that you don't spread yourself too thin, trying to do all the things. Just focus on what you can focus on, what has been getting you the results and keep pushing that. That's not nothing against Clubhouse. That's just in general, period. Because there's always going to be some new things on. Like I'm not on TikTok. I wasn't on, what was the other, Snapchat. <laughs> I just didn't get on any of that stuff. Okay, Leslie said there's a lot of useful information from the rooms that she's followed. So Pamela, it could probably um, serve you in some type of way. Just make the others, there are others to stay away from. Okay, so Leslie said there's some useful information in the rooms that she's following, but the others to stay away from. I just say, uh, Pamela, you know, just check it out, see if it works for you. Just don't be, don't take in so much information that you don't ever execute anything. This community is all about inspiring you guys to act, activate your faith, commit to your plan and take action. So just make sure if you are in any rooms, choose wisely how to utilize your time and make sure you're implementing the suggestions if it fits your business and your business model. Anything else, ladies? How about you, Miss Amanda? Anything else from you, hon? I am good to go. I am good. It's been a pleasant, awesome experience. So I'm grateful. Thank you so much. You're totally welcome. It's my pleasure. As always, it's my honor to serve. Um, if y'all need anything, you know where to find me, right here in this community of Parallelpreneur Powerhouses. Oh, hold on. One last thing. Oh, Leslie says, was in a room with Grant Cordon. I absolutely love him um, <laughs> and free coaching and a lot, a, free, a lot of free coaching in them. Okay, awesome. So Pamela, let us know if you check it out and give us your feedback. So what I may do, if Pamela checks it out and Leslie's been checking it out, we may do just a little bit of uh, conversation about Clubhouse um, for those who are interested in. So y'all ladies, let me know if y'all are interested in doing that one, one Wednesday night. Okay, me and Amanda is signing off. You're welcome, Pamela, have a good night. As always, everybody be profitable and be blessed. I'm praying for us all. Bye. Bye.